we're down in the main lab now and we have all of your beautifully decorated cups here in front of us. And what we're going to do as part of this experiment is we're going to attach the cups to a very special piece of equipment we have called a CTD. And we lower that off the side of the ship, which you'll see in just a moment, uh, and we lower it all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. So from where we are here, that is 4,500 metres deep, which is about 4.5 kilometres. So if you were to walk from your school to Ferry Point Park, that is how deep your cups are going to go, which is why I'm putting them in that little bag to help keep them nice and secure. And here we are now. This is them attached to the bottom of the CTD. As you can see, we tied them on really, really tightly because uh, we wanted to make sure that we didn't lose any of them. And that little bag uh, will also help protect your cups from any interesting hungry animals that might try and take a little bite out of them. So you can see that's our whole CTD there. Um, so it's being lowered off the side of the ship now. And said earlier, it's going to be going down to 4,500 metres. Uh, so this is past the midnight zone and it's going into the abyssal zone. So that is really, really far down in the really deep, darkest parts of the ocean. So not only are we going to send your cups all the way down there as well, we're going to collect some water from there using those kind of grey bottles that you can see on the yellow frame. Once the CTD is back on deck and those bottles are all filled with water from the deep parts of the ocean, um, we will be able to collect it in special bottles and then we'll take it into our lab for experiments. So we have to lower the CTD quite slowly, um, so it'll take about four hours for us to send it all the way down to the bottom of the ocean and to get it back on board again. And here it is now, coming back on board the ship. And if you can spot it there, but there is a little blue bag uh, which does contain all of your cups. So it will be interesting to see what has happened to them uh, once they've been on that journey all the way down to 4,500 metres. So I'm back in the main lab now and the bag that we put them in is the exact same uh, as when we started the experiment but the cups have been through quite a big change. As you can see here, uh, one of the cups has gotten a, a lot smaller and it has changed shape a little bit. Um, so Claire's going to talk to you a, bit, a little bit more about uh, how and why this happened.